Yeah, good morning. And it's another move in the fight for control of Disney's property. DeSantis is set to announce plans by the state legislature to void a controversial move by the Mouse House where he said Disney controlled predecessors pulled a fast one on them by stripping the new board of most powers before his hand picked members could officially take their seats. DeSantis made remarks in Ohio last week where he himself teased this latest move in a year long battle with Disney, saying, Round two of fireworks are coming, but the governor says he didn't start this fight. It all started when Disney said it was against the Parental Rights and Education Act, which prohibits classroom instruction about sexual orientation or gender identity from kindergarten through third grade. In retaliation, the Florida legislature overhauled Disney's 55-year self-governing body known as the Reedy Creek Improvement District this past February. Five new supervisors were appointed as the Central Florida Tourism Oversight district, but just before leaving, members of the previous Disney-controlled board passed covenants that transferred developmental power to the company before the new board could take over. This essentially makes Disney the government. This board loses, for practical purposes, the majority of its ability to do anything. That includes things like transportation planning, stormwater planning, growth management. Now, Reedy Creek board members also prohibited their successors from using the name Disney or any symbols associated with the theme park without the company's permission and barred the new board from using the likeness of Mickey Mouse or other Disney characters or intellectual properties. The company denied that it kept the plan quiet and said the changes complied with Florida's public meeting laws. Supervisors of the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District have now been floating a resolution saying the board has superior authority authority over all land development decisions for the 27,000 acres that make up Walt Disney World. Now, the board is set to vote on that resolution this Wednesday, April 19th, but that could potentially change after the governor's announcement today. We're working to confirm a time with his office, but experts say this is likely a starting point for future legal tussles between the new board and Disney. I can see that. All right. Regina Gonzalez, live for us this morning. Thank you, Regina.